Hey, gorgeous Pete, the Zemma Romano here. Um, guess what I just did? I just did aerial yoga for the second time. Freaking hanging upside down, doing bike fix, fucking cool. But there is something I want to help you with. There's two major things that's going to fuck up anything you want in your life, including health, including being pain free, including having wanting money, including all the things, right? If you want love, if you want money, if you want success, whatever, these are the two, there are two big things that people don't think of when they're wanting to manifest. One is resentment. If you're holding on to resentment about anyone or anything, including yourself, your body cannot heal. It is a stranglehold on your abundance and your manifestation. So I've got a client at the moment, well, I've many clients who in worlds of physical, physical pain. Uh, medical can't do anything about it, so they're coming to me. And I go straight away, before I even delve into the unconscious mind, before I even delve into the energetics, even before I delve into removing entities and anything like that, I ask them questions. Who do you hold your most resentment around? And they'll give me a list. It's usually father, mother, blah, 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 blah. And they'll talk about them with venom. Our body cannot decipher whether we're talking about something else or ourselves. So if I'm talking about somebody, I don't know, who's done me wrong, and I'm talking about them with venom, my body thinks I'm talking about it. So it will react the way it reacts by talking hatred about it. Can't heal. Second thing is, how do you speak? So this is beautiful. I had this client in yesterday. Freaking love these two clients. They're... um. They're a couple, they're gorgeous. I just fucking love them. And she will go into great story about her pain, her problems and all this. And I'm like, every time, you got, you got to think, before I go on, I want you to imagine this. God does not, or universe, source, whatever you call it, cannot, will not, thank fuck, give you everything that you are thinking about. Could you imagine? Because... That was the case. I would have an elephant, two alpacas, and three fucking giraffes in my back garden right now, now right? Hey, Kathy. So the only thing that God or universe source will actually give you is what, one, you speak out loud, give a lot of energy to. Doesn't matter if it's negative or, or, or positive energy. It's what you speak out loud and give a lot of energy to. So for instance... If I say to you, how was your day yesterday? Oh, I had lots of pain, lots of pain. Guess what you're going to have today and tomorrow and the next day? Lots of pain, lots of pain. Instead, if you said, my body had the opportunity to rest yesterday. Hmm. Different story, isn't it? And I tell you why. Kim, hey, beautiful. I tell you why we do it. Because we fucking love drama. We love it. Our soul hates it. Our ego loves it. And our ego always wants to be right. And it wants to be the pity party. And it wants one-upmanship. And I, this is what I mean by this. If you're in pain, oh, I've had worse pain. Oh, I had a sleepless night. Oh, well, I've had two sleepless nights. It'll always want to one-up you. And our unconsciously, our ego will one-up our own pain. So if we had a bad day yesterday, we we'll want to have a double bad day today. How crazy is that? So we've got to be so fucking careful of how we talk and what energy we put into our words. Get it? And this is where you need to catch yourself. And uh, this is what, this is how I healed myself of MS. I healed myself of chronic um, fatigue. Uh, what else did I have? Fucking optic neuritis, celiacs, healed myself of all of that. Also, I had um, tore all the ligaments in my neck a year before diagnosis. So these are the two things. One, you've got to be careful of what you say because God is listening to it and he will give it to you. Two, you have to let go of resentment. You have to let go of resentment. That is the biggest block to healing, to manifestation, to all of it. They're the two things. 
Let me know how you go. I'm going to tell you though, the next seven days that you practice this are going to be ball breakers and it's going to be awkward and it's going to be shit. In fact, it's going to be shit for about 21 days. It's going to be awkward and you're going to go, oh my God, I do it all the time. And it's good that you notice it. That's one thing you're not allowed to do. Don't go into the shame of it. Don't go into the, oh my God, I thought I was a positive person. No, none of us really are. Because <laughs> we all love drama. <laughs> it's the ego. The ego loves the drama. Anyway, guys, have an amazing, amazing day. I love you. Happy New Year. They're the two things. Focus on, your, on what you're saying and what energy you're putting in and let go of resentment. Let go of it. Mwah. I'll see ya.